Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sam Tier C here, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. Um, last time we did Iconic Canyon. Um, and now, oh boy, my least favorite part of this game. I need Ocarina. I need Hookshot. Well, Hookshot. Apparently, I'm wearing the Gibdo mask. Um. And a mask of choice. Yeah, today we have to climb Stone Tower, which is, um, definitely a part of a video game. That's for sure. This is Hopefully it won't be that bad this time around, you know? Hopefully. Alright, get nice and cozy because this might take the entire episode. If I'm lucky, I get to do something else today, but, you know. Stone Tower. So this entire place revolves around the hookshot and swapping to transformation masks quickly. Oh shoot, I forgot how to play this. Okay, I did it my first try. I know it had something to do with like the face buttons and then moving counterclockwise with the R stick. Um, then it's X, Y, X, then start from down and on um, left. Shoot, I didn't want to do that. And also that guy will shoot lasers at you, which is great. Um, I need this aura mask next. Yeah, the elegy of emptiness will get stuck in your head. And by the end of this. Now I am realizing that I might have missed, oh yeah, the bottom one. I thought that was optional, but apparently it wasn't. Hopefully this doesn't screw anything up because, um, the blocks can sometimes be a little weird around here. Okay, that didn't. this freaking bad <laughs> so yeah these are the ones we was I French for a second what or I have a list. But anyways, you don't need to hit those switches, you just need to worry about the ones that are separated. Saves you a bunch of time. I got it all. Uh, yeah. I'm back up a little bit so I can actually reach this quick shot.
I like the way Zorlin's hand moves when you just spam a bunch of notes. It's like... Um, I know it has to do with him resetting his animation every time you press a note, but it's still funny. And this guy is just about to... Did I already make one for... I'm sorry, how was that C left? I pressed X and accidentally flicked the analog stick down. At no point did I ever press left or Y. Okay then. Also, yes, I did press the one for Link. Also, you cannot use Deku because Deku is too light to step on the switches. Meaning, if you make a clone of him, he won't be able to press the switches. So, keep a mental note of that. Just not waste your time. Again, you don't need to press the ones that are all together. Just focus on the ones that are, are part. Where is this thing? Is there no switch on this one? Apparently not. I remember <laughs> okay. I don't think there's a switch on that one either. I think that one's just to make you get hit by the rocks. Actually, I actually have to jump down for this one. Through that. What do you mean? Okay. The red dot usually means that you're in range. Also, I don't t trust that there's. An I don't remember this. I don't remember the fact that there's no switches on this platform. Although the entrance is right there. Oh, gotta love this Wii U aiming. Right. Oh yeah, I'm at the end. Took me eight minutes. I thought that was gonna take me 30. Wow. Yeah, it's not that it's particularly long. It's just... If you die once not even die if you fall off the um the map then you have to restart the whole puzzle which sucks and i'm glad i didn't have to do that i believe that you have to do it in a specific order, and I'm pretty sure it starts with left. It's, I believe it's left, right, up. Play the LG of emptiness. I also forgot to deposit my rupees, and that's a mistake. I also did in the wrong order because they're not supposed to be stacked on top of each other. Whatever. Wait. 
I accidentally play the Elegy of Empty and Sixty. Okay. Actually, have to deposit my rupees in. But you know what? Now that we got that owl statue, I don't have to climb this thing ever again. And the great thing about that is that I can go off on my own little misadventures. Thank you. I need a deposit. One thousand rupees. That's a blue piece. So. I now need to go back to... I was playing counterclockwise, and to play Song of Thorn, you need to go counterclockwise. Again, muscle memory from the LED of emptiness. But, I need to go back to the Conic Castle and go kill those Gibdos, because that is the best way to grind rupees in the game, and there's a 5,000 rupee reward, which is insanity. It's actually bonkers that they expected you to do this. I'm at a thousand playing casually. Craziness. Uh, where is the... There it is. Oh shoot, I wasn't looking, I was looking behind me. <laughs> Um... Oh wait, I don't need to do that because I already got this on block. Uh, the grind begins. The great grind of the Kana Castle. I'll go till 6 p.m. because that's when you can meet up with Cafe consistently, from what I learned um, a few episodes ago, that 6 p.m. we still encounter Cafe, so I'm going to take advantage of that and um, grind some rupees. As you can see, we can, we're making money fairly quickly. So, like, 500, I need 4,000, so I have to do this 8 times before the end of the game. And Stone Tower is the final dungeon, might I remind you? My day is gone, interesting. Um, so far. So, I. So, I was just minding my own business, and then I just got like 15 notifications in a row, all vibrating in my pocket. And then I look, and it's a group chat that I got invited to a Discord group chat. Now, on Discord, you can just, you know, invite people to group chats. <laughs> and and not even like get their permission so that's what happened to me and i got spammed with like really freaking positive messages from accounts that i did not know they said sam i love your videos and stuff like that and i'm like who the fuck are these people because might i remind you that um this is going up, um, well, I'm recording all of this 
in advance. So episode one will go up after I record every episode. Meaning, at the time I'm recording this right now, it's not even the day that episode one got uploaded. Like, I still haven't uploaded it. So these people just come, like, they just invite me to this group chat and spam, like, we love your videos, we love your videos, Sam, you know, we love you. And then, obviously I've had videos before this. Um, a lot of them are private because they are super corny and they didn't need to be on the platform. But, you know, a bunch of my videos are still up. Before Majora's Mask, we can, like, go and have, you know, like, entire backlog content. So that's the content they were talking about, mind you. And if you've watched old Sam Tiercy, first of all, how are you alive? Second of all, like, that is not the things I should be, you know, getting support for because those videos suck. Um... So yeah, I was just getting all these positive messages. And then there was one account that I recognized. And, you know, it was one of my friends who had known about my YouTube channel. And then the messages, just the weird-ass messages start scroll scrolling in. And they were saying, like, oh, it's me from, like, their name. I'm not going to say their name, obviously. But they were saying, like, oh, it's me, you know, from 6th grade. It's me from 7th grade. It's me from 8th grade. Like, that was the order that they said it the three people in there, and then I was just like, what? How? Because, first of all, they have to remember, remember me. And, like, I, I guess I'm a pretty memorable person, but at the same time, I'm not the person to, like, constantly, like, hang out with friends, you know? I mean, you should know that by now, because I'm out, I'm by myself, and recording a Zelda game that I played a million times. Oh, I forgot to put on the Gibbos mask. Yeah, that, that went interestingly. So, I get into this group chat, okay? And, um, we were talking, and I was talking about you know, Majora's Mask, you know, the game I'm let's playing right now. And seven minutes after I joined, I shit you not, seven minutes, they said, okay, Sam, you have to go. And then they said, oh, we only keep people in here temporarily. We just wanted you for seven minutes. And then they were starting to talk to themselves, like, who's going to kick them? And I'm like, I guess I'll just leave by myself. Well, well, no, the the true order of events is that one of the guys called each other like a kooky or something. And then that's when I said, okay, yep, now I'll leave. So yeah, my day was interesting today, but I guess that gave me the motivation to record, funnily enough. So, if, I, if, I, if I'm a lot more talkative than uh, last episode, yeah, it's a new day, and that just gave me the energy to keep going because that's freaking absurd, you know? I haven't even recorded, like, the first modern episode of Slam TRC. Well, I consider it modern. Obviously, you have Mario 3D World, uh, Pikmin 2, Splatoon 2, Luigi U, and then, like, that's about it. That I recorded in, like, 2021, and then I took a two-year hiatus into 2024, where we are now. So, you know, I consider this the start of, like, the modern era. Because that, that's what this is. I'm getting back into YouTube. I forgot what my point was. This is absurd. Now, I doubt I'll become big one day. You know, I'll probably go on another hiatus or whatever. And I probably won't get a lot of views. So, for the few of you who are watching this, like, if I forget big one day, and I have to deal with that frequently, I think I might explode. Not out of, like, being uncomfortable, just out of how funny it is to me. 
how I can get just like Discord's stupid, stupid mechanics just allow me to get invited to group chats I did not want to be in, and then get freaking showered in love by a YouTube channel, and then those people start like acting gay. And they're not even gay in like real life either. No, they just act that way. <laughs> because obviously, like like they said, I don't know. Uh, back to collect. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know what I would do if that will happen frequently in my life. You know, I just, I don't know. I might do that Gib, uh, Redead thing one more time. Um... And then go to Anju. I find it funny that they allow you to deposit 600 and like 999 when the wallet cap is 500. Guess it was two. What? My first instinct was to turn on a camera, but I realized that I don't have a camera. And I've literally never turned on a camera before. But my first instinct was to turn on a camera to show that I swear I'm playing the song of Soaring. And then I... Like, I'm going down right up. Wait, no, not down right up. Down left up in a clockwise pattern with my joystick to play it quickly. And then it plays the Song of Healing. Meaning I screwed up two times in a row in the most perfect way for it to play the Song of Healing. Now that's impressive. That is genuinely impressive. Okay, your sword can't pick up rupees. I know in some Zelda games, like, um... Minish Cap, so I think Link's Awakening, um, what's another one? A Link Between Worlds, stuff like that. Um, the game allows you to pick up the piece with your sword. So, like, so you don't have to walk over there manually, but I guess it's not in this game. I have to actually run into it. There's not, not, not much of that story left. Oh, by the way, after they kicked me... Well, they didn't kick me. I left myself, but... After they attempted to kick me, I got two friend requests. And, and guess who the two friend requests, friend, friend requests were. That's right. Two of the three idiots that invited me to that group chat. And I still haven't responded, because... I just kind of want to leave it at that, you know? It's a funny story of, like, because obviously, you know, obviously, you know, I don't want to, like, accept the friend request, because how would you feel if three people that you haven't talked to in years suddenly messaged you about how much they love your YouTube videos and then call each other poopies and shit? Like, that's genuinely creepy, but... So obviously, I'm not accepting friend requests. But I just find it really, really funny that they sent me friend requests after they tried to check me from the, from the thing. <laughs> video with Redead grinding, but I'm glad I got to share that story. Ow. 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 
I realized I didn't even need all those, I just needed one blue beam. But that's okay. I swear if I played the song healing again. I'm gonna go to talk to a cafe, I guess. Actually, if I rush to cafe, activate the cutscene, and then go to grandma, I might not- I might- um, be able to get her second heart piece. Which is actually really good if I'm able to do that, so I might do that. I don't know when Grandma stops telling stories, so... We saw this before. Time travel bullshit. get there before 6 p.m. probably, so I'm gonna do that. Uh... I'm still laughing about the Discord instant. I mean, it happened this morning, but I'm still just... It's ridiculous. Alright, take your pendant. I don't know a good female insult, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, Grandma's not down here. She can't climb stairs. Here we go. I'm pretty sure it's this door. Alright, I have to equip the All Night's Mask. Till morning. More giants, isn't it? And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to say, I don't, also, by the way, we've heard that story a million times. Um, wasn't that fun? I don't know. Really, but you listen hard. I'll give you some candy. Yeah. And now, we have fulfilled the prophecy. Because guess what we get to do now? That's right. Viewer who was probably silent while I asked. Um, we get to talk to the dude, because I did not save the bomb lady this cycle. I'm going the wrong way entirely. Um... And because we did that, we can finally continue the side quest. My heart rate.
My heart rate suddenly increased. What the fuck did I do wrong? I did save her again. I'm gonna talk to the guy just to make sure. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't get the bomb. Maybe it's at like 10. Maybe it's at like 10. Maybe I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm... You know, maybe I don't even know. I can't English right now. My heart's literally pounding. I don't want to play another cycle. This Let's Play has gone on too long. Episode 25. These, these videos came out... Come, these videos come out daily. You've been watching this shit for a month. And I've been doing it for even longer because I've took day week long breaks and stuff. So like I can't remember what I did. Obviously I talked to Cafe, I got the pendant of memories. Didn't do all that, I did the main stuff. That, that's all I was supposed to do. I didn't even save grandma this time. Yes, I know there's two grandmas in the door of the map. You know what I'm talking about. Also, by the way, I'm at three-fourths of the heart rate. Yes. Just making sure I'm on track to finish this how I need to. God, I really hope it's at like 10 that I have to enter. Oh, by the way, I should probably like not have. Well, I'll do it next time. I was about to say, I should probably not have time inverted, but I'll get the 500 rupees under the time and stuff. Honestly, to be honest, I didn't feel like recording today, but I'm glad I did because I got to tell that story <laughs> before I forgot. So it's surprisingly real, relaxing, which is what it's supposed to do. I'm commentating while playing the game. It's what Let's Play is supposed to be. It's supposed to be relaxing. But I'm in the middle of planning all these other ones, man. And I have to tell myself that I have to submit the door fast. Move on, because I don't want to start something that I'll never finish. Alright, got it. Wait a minute, they die if you... Oh, you gotta use the sunlight to get the red rupees. Okay. Well, I know that now, so. Uh, yeah. Some other plan. Not really anything. Nothing of a value of worth.
I'll check at, um... It's around 9.30 in game time, so... Check if that is the time i I'm guessing it's like 10 or something. Alright, yeah. I don't know. I don't remember what time it is. I just remember that if you go into the house during morning, you can find the dude. And I thought that meant 6 a.m. And now I don't know. Usually I'm in the middle of all these other side quests. Okay, so. This is another 40 minute one, but it does it doesn't feel like it. Now I, I know I could like out of bounds into the house, but I don't want to do that. Um... No, well, I should have it. Well, I don't care. Don't give me per red rupees, I just got lucky. Whatever. Either uh, the guy's gonna let me in the cafe house, or I get the 5,000 rupees. One thing's gotta be in the title thumbnail of this video. How the gilded sword is so long that I can just press the B button and he'll die. I love everything about Majora's Mask, man. Even the even the non parts. It's my uh, fifth favorite game of all time. I don't know why I was about to say second. That's Earthbound. Got all the rupees.
Another 500 to go in the bank. Ooh, you. is good in the world. Just open the damn door. Please. What am I doing wrong? I'll wait till one. I'll give this guy pity. Look at this, I'm waiting. I'm being patient. Oh my god! Oh my god, my patience was rewarded. Yeah, you know, you're the green cat kid? I got a message from Cafe. I prefer I've known him since I was little. When he showed up looking all young, that brat buddy, I don't know what I was seeing. All it took was one glance at that Keaton mask he was carrying to me realize I was looking at my old dear friend. I gave him that mask a long time ago when he was just a little cafe. Didn't know he kept it that well for so long. I'm not sure why, but I wanted to give this to you. You got the Keaton mask. A cafe, he says he wants you to take this to his mother. A customer came to my shop last night. Now Cafe sees him. Cafe, the face color just changes and he goes around after the guy. The guy's a regular. He's a greedy thief named Sacco. I believe he's from a kind of village. Alright. But before we end this episode, and I know this episode's like freaking long, but... Um... I want to use the Keaton mask real quick. Um, and it's actually very easy to just complete this right now, if I remember. I usually don't do this because this is useless, but, um, all it gives you is a heart piece. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to open the menu on it. I want to do this. So you have to wear the Keaton mask. And then go over and spin attack this patch of grass, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Hello, child. You are attempting to fool me. It is impossible. We kings can recognize our own sh by the shame of our tail. But you are a good child. Let me put you to a test. Pick one of these three choices. Well, welcome to Romani, the girl at the ranch who's in practice. Well. Answer me this. These questions are randomized, by the way, so... <laughs> Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. How many cows are there at Romani Ranch? Yeah, three? <laughs> what bad habit does Andrew, the innkeeper, have? She's quick to apologize. She's quick to apologize. Yeah. I was gonna say break into tears, but apologize seems like Andrew. How many members are there in the Indigo Girls? I'm pretty sure... There's... The fat one, the cool one... Mm. Fucking fat? Okay, I don't know. Darmani is- okay, this is easy, he's gone. Good, very good, take this prize. I seriously didn't know the answer to that Zora question. It was either- it was either five or six. But anyways, um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let's meet back. That's Steven's outro. Like, comment, subscribe. Next time we're gonna do other things. Yeah, I can't believe I just unironically quoted Steven. Steven vlog. Uh, goodbye, whatever, goodbye. Just end the episode right